I thought I'd never say that, if I must be honest, and now that I have, I'm also glad that I did. Where the hell am I? Oh, I was in the uh, ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. Hey guys! I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to Fun the Depths. And today is officially the day that we should be able to get the Dreadnought to fly. Because there isn't much left to be done with regards of the main structure. The front and the back of the top two sections are complete. And the only thing that's left is the front and back section of the bottom middle part and the slope parts and they shouldn't take too long to do as long as i'm able to get everything done accordingly i come to think of it there's still a little bit i need to do back here with regards of uh, finishing this up because you guys see there's still gaps here in the back i need to tidy up so i'll get that going here today and hopefully we should be able to get this thing to finally launch Oh, I can't wait for it, guys. I, I, I really can't. I, that's that's going to be something exciting. Not only potentially for you guys, but also for me as well. Because, well, I honestly want to see what this thing looks like when it's up in the air. And what the hell is up with this freaking epic music? <laughs> wow. This music is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Well, I suppose considering that today might be the day that this thing actually finally flies, uh, given this uh, epic music, it's quite fitting for the occasion. <laughs> I'll just put these last few beams here, and then I'll get to uh, finishing up the bottom section, and I'll look to see getting these uh, slope sections done. Now, I'm not quite 100% sure on how I'm going to get these done, because I, I'm not really all that experienced in getting a slope sections done like this. Because the only things that I have to work on, especially with the previous ships, is just whole sections like this. So, like I said, I don't really have much experience with trying to uh, finish up uh, slope sections, especially like how I got these done. So... I'll catch you guys here in a second when I get the bottom section tidied up with the front and back. And what is with these buttons? Hang on, guys. I'll show you these uh, buttons here. Just let me move my face. Look at this. Were these buttons always here? Because I honestly don't remember seeing them before. The back part of the bottom section is installed. Now for the front. Guys, here's something I just realized. The front section is actually the exact same length as the back section. I didn't expect that because normally when I do ships, especially ones like this, I have the front and back sections exactly the same, except the front section will have a window on it. So this is new to me. <laughs> kind of cool at the same time as well. Front cap is installed. Now to see what we can do about these slope sections. After we see what we can do about the uh, the main observation room here. Because so I've been thinking about it. And I think what I will do is I'll have this as the floor. And this part here is the ceiling. So I'll probably put a door probably around here. And I have a stairway going down. Yeah, I think that's how I'll do it. I, I, it should come out looking really cool. At least that's what I hope. Okay guys, I got the main observation room finished for uh, this one. All I have to do now is copy it and put it for the top two. But before I do that, I'm going to finish up with this section down here and get this looking better before I head back up top and finish up what I have to do there. Okay, I got the bottom wood uh, section all done. Now I'm going to get ready and do the top. And there's something I actually want to tell you guys. There's a block in here that I honestly have not used before. And one thing I'll say 
how I used it, it actually came out pretty well, if I must be honest. And I'll actually show you guys here a little bit of what I got done. The room itself is finished, it's just a little bit extra on the outside that I need to uh, button up. As you guys see, there's a little bit of a uh, gap there above the doorway. And there's something funny that I uh, should show you guys about the, um, the top door and the bottom door. Because they're not the same. The doors are in the same spot, but how I got the doors placed is different. This is what I want to show you. This is one of the, the top sections and this is what the room looks like before and after. Now I don't have any chairs or anything in here yet, but that will be something that I'm going to be adding and as a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these uh, slot pieces here so I can have the walls look a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, d I'm definitely doing that. That honestly looks a lot better just by adding that in. Here we go. Don't worry about the missing uh, railing here. I actually can't place that there because when I tried, it's, it interferes with this railing and this railing. So I literally cannot put that there even though I'm able to put this one here. Go figure. But uh, I also placed railing for this doorway here, but none for this one. Because well, this one's already on the ground floor and I forgot to put in a few slope pieces. Yeah, there's the uh, front sections. Quite a bit spacious. <laughs> Good lord. And I'm honest, I, I honestly quite like, the, like those rooms. Like I said, they're nice and spacious, like they're really big. And well, duh. With a ship this size, you're not exactly going to be expecting like a small driver's room. And like I mentioned in the previous episode, I will be adding in the hallway sections. Because you guys might remember the previous ship, the uh, doorways back here, was all segmented into like their own like separate uh, interconnected hallway with uh, walls being placed in between each doorway. So I'm going to be doing for that one as well and I'm going to put it on both sides. Because I, I find that having something like that is not only does it look nice and I don't know how the hell I'm bringing up that menu, that's twice I did that now. And not only does it look nice, but it also gives structure and defense to the ship, which is, well, <laughs> that's essential in, uh, in this game, especially when you're having uh, enemy ships trying to freaking kill you. So, oh... I'll add uh, these sections in and then I'll catch up with you guys again once I get this done and then we'll finally see about uh, actually getting this ship to fly which I hope we can do that this episode because that's something that I said about doing for the past couple episodes now and I honestly want to do it and I hope we can. So I'll catch you guys here in a uh, in a bit once I get all these uh, beams put in. Okay, guys, I got the beams put in. Now I'm going to uh, finish up these uh, sections here, and once I get these done, I'll get back to you and we'll see what we can do next. Okay, guys, I got the second wall and the ceiling put in. Now I'm going to finish up uh, the door frames and have the doors installed. Okay guys, I got the hallways done, now I'm going to head up top, and I'm going to uh, fill those in as well. So, I'll get you guys in a bit. And that empty space that was there earlier that I just filled in, yeah, I I don't know how long that's been there either. <laughs> Welcome to day two of this build, and I would have continued with it uh, yesterday, but I ran out of time. And I do want to try and get as much of this done as I possibly can. It's currently right now, I do have all of the hallways done. And now I believe it's actually finally time to uh, get thrusters on this thing and see if this thing can fly. I thought I'd never say that, if I must be honest. And now that I have, I'm honestly glad that I did. Where the hell am I? Oh, I was in the uh, ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, just like the previous build, I do have these all sectioned off. And come to think of it, I might work on these a little bit more because, well, I want to get the uh, inner wall here done. 
and once once you get that done then we'll see about getting uh torch that's actually added on to this thing because like i mentioned in the past few videos i do want to make this thing fly i do want to see it fly and we should be able to do it this time around well my hope so anyway guys i don't know what happened here i'm really confused because like I noticed something odd when I was loading it in, and I didn't think much of it, but now looking at it... Wait a minute, this is the top of the uh, roof section down there. I'm really confused. Uh, okay... Looks like before I get the building, I need to clean all this off because this doesn't make any sense. Okay, now I got the weird ceiling situation straightened up, or deleted. Now I'm gonna work on the interior walls here of the hallway. And I think I might know what happens with the uh, ceiling and why it appeared like that. I think it had um, something to do with uh, how I uh, copied the uh, hallway section on the bottom. I think I accidentally copied some of the uh, ceiling as well. So that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing... That uh, seems to make sense because, yeah, that was not supposed to be there. <laughs> the ceilings are supposed to be flat with a nice octagonal shape to them, much like the other ships are. Though, having these sections the way that they were, this kind of give me a bit of an idea to possibly do some uh, steampunk style builds. Because that's something I've tried in the past but I kind of horrendously failed at it so it might be something I might actually uh, take a shot at if I must be honest I, I I do like my steampunk builds I think they're really cool okay so it looks like this is done so now moment of truth time to add thrusters to this baby and see if we can make a fly I hope we can yeah I seen someone make a suggestion on the previous episode of this of adding in helium pumps and I can see how that would be a good idea but the question is would this even work because like in order for me to install helium pumps I'll need to create a designated pockets in order for them to be installed I will try it to see if it works but we may need like a lot of pockets in order to actually uh, get it to work. And right now I'm just plotting out the uh, spots for the main... Uh, I'm gonna think of, where would the main lift thrusters be? Would they be... No... Well, I don't actually know. Because I could place them uh, down in the bottom section here. And have the top uh, two side ones be roll. But the thing is... I don't exactly want to have just the bottom section be dedicated to lift because if we happen to take too much damage this thing is going down i guess what i could do is i could have some of the lift down here on the bottom and have more of it up on top now i just came with an idea i don't know if it'll work but it might be worth a shot okay guys i got the bottom central thrusters installed but i'm not sure if it's gonna be enough to help facilitate the weight and if it isn't, I will add more to the bottom. But I'm planning on adding ones here to the inner side of these top two so uh, side sections. And placing the roll thrusters right here, right at the outer edge. Now, this is where it comes in. I have no idea if this is going to work. Now, this might ultimately just fail and blow up my face. But I do want to at least give this a shot and see if this will actually work because I never done this before. I have never made a triple hulled ship before. I mean, the first time I ever made a double hull was the Gemini. I'm not even kidding. That was the first time I made a double hull. So to say this is a completely new experience would rather be a redundant understatement at this point. Though, if you guys have any suggestions down in the comments, I'll gladly listen to them. And you guys might be wondering why I have these torches spaced out the way that I do. 
Well, not only for symmetry's sake, but to add a little bit of a defensive measure to them. Because if they were completely all clumped together into one area going all the way down, then, the, then if one happens to get hit, then they all get taken out. I mean, sure, multiple in, uh, jet engines here will still be taken out, but if a missile or something happens to strike here, then it only affect this area. And even though some thrusters will still be damaged or destroyed, the uh, likelihood of both sides being taken out at one time will be lowered. And I realized I made a mistake. I was supposed to put ducks on these thrusters. God damn it. Okay, I got the lift thrusters installed now. Now I'm going to install the roll ones. And I know that uh, removing some of the layer of, of heavy armor that we have in here is going to cause some structural problems. So I decided to put the heavy armor ducts over the thrusters. So that should be able to help. I mean, it doesn't have as high stats as, say, as what the heavy armor beam does. Wait, it actually has more health. Same armor and a bit more weight by the looks of it because the full long beams only has a little over 6,000, what well, that was 6,000 each. This is a three by three. So yeah, the health is still a bit lowered because it's more of a wider area being taken out to because instead of being at one by four, it's a three by three. Still like, I mean, that's pretty, that's a pretty significant amount of armor right there. So. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the uh, roll thrusters as well. What did I just do? Oh, accidentally uh, <laughs> turned off the uh, hold on it. Whoops. I don't want you falling out the sky and my mouse just did that by itself. Okay, before I continue with the thruster placement, I'm going to put in a AI system. So let's see if we can actually get this thing to fly properly. And I think I'm going to place it in here, inside one of these tubes. So I might go for more one of the more middle ones, like this one here, for example. Because, I mean, this has four layers of armor above the bottom section, so that's going pretty hard to get to. And plus, it's protected on all sides. It's protected on the left and right side from the slope sections. And plus it's also protected on the bottom with four layers of armor. It's also put that on top with four layers of armor. So I think this would be one of the better places to place the AI system. So I'll go and get that installed and then I will be adding more thrusters. But we'll see how well this thing actually flies with its first uh, test flight. I kind of forgot to add something important. Rear thrusters. Alright guys, looks like I'm going to need to add more thrusters to this, but the thrusters are there. At least it tries to fly. But looks like I'm going to need to add more of them in order to actually pull that off. And yeah, the resources aren't exactly going down as slow as what they used to. I mean, guys, just look. I mean, these, they aren't still going down relatively slow, but yeah, that's what just they used to. But that's going to do it this time, guys. Uh, next time, I will be adding more thrusters to this because well, I do want to get this thing to eventually fly. So I think seeing something like this flying across the sky, I think would be extremely momentous to say the least. So guys, raise the like button for the depths if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and ring the bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Ooh, I honestly think seeing this thing fly, as I said, would be a momentous occasion. Oh, this thing is ridiculous. Cool, though.